Hello and welcome to the highlights of the first ODI Pakistan vs Sri Lanka highlights from Dubai International Cricket Stadium. I like to be any left-hander will. Nice little one on the hip to a flick away, finally up inside the circle. Over the top. Oh no, he's got in. Beautiful catch. The pressure got, got to Ahmed Shazad. He wasn't getting off the mark. Got the inner part of the bat and straight to the man. First wicket for Sri Lanka. Well, well, well. You mentioned it, Waka Yunus. Pressure was mounting for Shazad to get off the mark. He decided to come down the pitch, flicked it. And Akila Dunanjawa is taking a beauty. Beautiful. Dunanjaya takes a comfortable catch. Shazar goes for a duck after a dozen balls. First one down at 11 here. And he says, I've got to have a piece of this one. And bashes it downtown very quickly. Oh, that's more like it. Now elegant. That's why we back him because he's a great talent. Now, if you can play a shot like that, you're obviously made for uh, for high pedestal. Oh, what a good shot! But this is class, pure class. Such a difficult angle to find. It was a slow ball. It wasn't a full. Uh, quick delivery well it says the speed says 128.5 kps so maybe it was a regular delivery short ball Pereira can go for runs he'll give you wickets also but it's not an ideal start after what Sri Lanka produced in the first 10 overs they were very very good and disciplined that's gone fine and once it beat the field it was always going to run and crash into the fence Tire! This isn't going through the tire. This is disappearing into the crowd. First maximum in this first ODI. Go to short for Fakhar against the spinners. Down on one knee, slog sweep. Nailed it. It's gone 82 meters. Danny wanted him to hit it over extra because there the tire there. But mid wicket is his area. Oh, knocked him over. Which way to the dance floor? Dan and Jay, are you little ripper? He's just got boshed for six and then he turns up with this one. Look at the pace, the guile on this delivery. Absolutely stunning. This man's got so many variations. And the wrong one at speed. Fucker didn't pick it. Was going to the leg side and it's just carried on straight. Mr. Spinner does it for Sri Lanka. Danger man. Gone for 43 of just 45. Pakistan, 75 for two. Hello, I'm on a face, if you please. Down on one knee, just got off the mark and now he's just got a boundary. Oh, and he's downtown and straight. Wonderful straight drive, doesn't get any straighter in fact. And that's Hafiz on the charge with his second boundary here. Oh, this is good. This is really good. He's looking very good. In fact, that's another boundary. He's been pouncing on anything loose. Just a bit too short. Again, that's another boundary. He's been so good. He's taken full toll of anything loose, anything short, slightly off length. He's pounced on it. Oh, that's beautiful. Beautiful shot indeed. That's gone through extra cover to end the over.
has gone up in the air. Will this be taken? Log on comes into play. Hafiz has been dismissed. He's absolutely furious with himself. Sri Lankans enjoy this wicket because they rate the leg before wrongly, but nothing wrong with that at all. It's Hafiz who's perished. That's a surprise to me. Hafiz getting a reprieve and the very next ball, excellent catch by Tisara Pereira. That was a poor delivery, but again, he was looking to try and hit it down to his deep mid wicket. The bounce and the turn just undid him a bit, but a good catch, running catch, judged it well. <laughs> He's got a wicket, he was deprived of one, but he's got the other one of the very next ball. So well done uh, to Jeffrey van der Sey, but Hafiz goes for 32, Pakistan 124 for 3. Nice, delicate little touch from Shoaib Malik, he'll get 4. Always, throughout his career, he's played spin exceptionally well. This time, just uses the pace on offer. Once he beat that short third man, he's always going to go to the fence. Malik wants to, he'll get it. Very good running. Barbarazan, 50 of 82 boundaries, a slow to start off with, quietly finding his fluency after a torrid test series, 500s, 7 ODI 50s. No one behind. Ananjay not close enough. Shoy Malik down the ground. He'll be caught. He'll be caught in the stands. Massive blow. That's the other aspect of Shreb Malik's batting against the spinners. The use of the feet. Uses the depth of the crease and uses his feet to get down to the pitch. Very rarely does he miss hit them when he's down the track. Not really strongly built, but he smashes it a long, long way. Goes big, goes big. And hits the rope. On the full. And uh, he'll get a boundary. There is no cover. This is just, just to the left of mid-off. The important thing for Shoaib Malik is he gets a boundary. And she likes it. Oh, that's not good fielding. Lakmal. Just let it go through him. They'll come back for three. Very, very important that Sri Lanka don't allow such lapses. They're hustling for two here or get it easy. A good placement, good communication. 50 to Shoaib Malik. There's one for the misses. A little salute to all. There's that big push from Shoaib Malik. In his radar and deposited through mid-wicket. You're slightly off though, and that's what happens. Beautifully weighted by the experienced Shoaib Malik. There's another boundary. Here we go! And there we go! Oh, sweet timing for six more. He read it early, read it well. And gratefully accepting this gift from Pereira. Slow ball providing him with a lot of width. 
trying the uh, the leg cutter and getting it all wrong. Muscled over covers for a gigantic one. That's great batting from Shweb Malik. Yeah, making a little bit of room to get the arms through that shot. Oh, give it a he! And God should have been taken, I reckon. Thought for a moment it was going for six, but it should have been taken. Opportunity missed. Flicks it with the wrist, but it's gone. Picked out a killer. And it is down the throat. And it's uh, the fourth one to go here. Well, he had to go. Uh, it turned out to be an excellent over from Lakmal. Beautifully bowled. This time, only ever so slightly with the shorter length. The off-cutter attempted. And the field was set for this miscue from Shweb Malik. Dhananjay with a good clean catch. No issues whatsoever, no dramas, but Shweb Malik has played a lovely hand here. Very good batting. Good in the middle order and smashingly good in the last few overs of the innings. 81 of 61 balls, Pakistan, four down for 2 6 3. Looking for some more stats of note. Here comes Pereira. And listen to the crowd. There is his sixth ODI 100, his fourth here in the UAE. First versus Sri Lanka, and is only 32 matches old this career. Well played, Chief. Yeah, really, from where he was to where he is now tonight is quite special. Has gone up in the air. That should be an early exit for Safras. He's gone. Skying it to the man at point. Well, Pakistan losing wickets, losing rhythm, and probably losing Mickey Arthur also. He's out of there. Again, he got the, uh, the ants in the pants as the coach. He's up and about, and so is Safras. A little change of pace, just a, like a knuckleball with the seam up, looking to slice it away on the onside, but he only gets an outside edge. And the captain, Kupultranga, catches his opposite. Gone for one, it's 266 for five. And here he goes again, but it's straight up. And Gonski, safe hands. Mendes with the catch. It's the sixth one down now. Yeah, I didn't have any strength. And he had to go for it. A tired shot from Barbarazam. He had done a, a fabulous job. A hundred for him. This had to be connected quite brightly to beat the field. Log on came into play and took an easy catch, and that's the end of Barbarazza. A mood lifter for him, a century. Another one, his sixth of his ODI career, 269 for six. Sounded okay. It's found a gap as well. Hassan Ali, like it. This has been smoked. Oh, yes. Upstairs here. Have some of this. Yeah, timely. Extremely timely. Beautifully executed over long gone. In the slot. And, uh, well, it was perfectly timed by Imad Basim. Have a look at this wind. Yeah, just a flick of the wrist in the end. And, well, it sailed over the man at long gone. Gives it the charge, a little inside out. Oh no, no, you're kidding me! Do not look at the captain or the bowler. Last ball, swing and a miss. 
Now there's a dot ball to finish proceedings here. Still 13 off the 50th over. Target for Sri Lanka. 293 to win it. Fractionally under sixes here at the Dubai International Sports Stadium. That'll be four. Poor delivery. That's four. That's great. That's too good. Heave and not all of it. Has he got enough? He certainly has. And he does get his first boundary here. He goes with a thrashing blade. Oh, nearly carries. Tantalizing close. The fielders decide to dive and come forward. But it's dipped at the last second and gone for four. Oh, where's the second slip? It's going to go for four as well. That's it, is it? A big appeal. Yes, the finger goes up, and Dick Waller, to be fair to him, has walked. That is a peach of a delivery. Top class. Almost a 140k. Had everything about it. The length, the line, he had to play at that line because it was angling into him. But the length was such that the feet went nowhere. Caught on the crease. Perfect dismissal for a left-arm seamer. Yeah, he strikes. I picked up an edge once. I picked up another edge as well, he says. Dick Weller's short stay comes to an end. 19 to him. It's 30 for one. Ah, big shout. Swinging down a wreck. Oh, given. Think he's going to want to come upstairs and review this one. I reckon that was swinging a bit much. Russell Arnold. I thought that was missing leg. He did swing. Foot coming down. Yeah, that's a fair delivery. We go on the front on spin vision, please. Doesn't look like there's any bat from front on. We're going to need to see uh, Ultra Edge just to confirm that, please, Rick. Stand by. Ultra Edge coming up now. Keep going, please. Keep going, please. Just take that back, Rick. So as you just see the ball passing the bat. A couple of frames back, please. And keep it now. Keep it going forward. Thank you. Uh, no bat involved. We'll go to ball tracking when ready, please. Ball tracking coming up now. Pitching in line, impact in line, wickets hitting. Uh, Asan, you can stay with your original decision. Asan, you are on camera now. Yeah, saying it's hitting uh, middle and leg, right bang in the middle of the middle and leg stumps. So there we go. You can smile now, Mickey Arthur, because it's the second one down now. Wonderful piece of bowling. Ruman Rees gets his second, and it is Dennis Chandamil, LBW for four, 34 for two here. Oh, that's once again beautifully timed. Oh, yes, sir. This was on the cards, as Bazi just pointed out getting a little frustrated and uh, couldn't find a way to get going and well he's been castle credit to Hafiz really for creating that magic it's a wicket maiden and he richly deserved this scalp he was all over the batsman like a rash and he's gone the skipper has been removed terrific bowling it just worked him over throughout that short period of time that over was absolutely on the money and Hafiz gets his man brilliant against left-handers Yet again, he shows his class. Stump to stump, and this time, he hits the stumps. Saranga, bowl for 18, 55 for 3. 
Oh, this has gone high. Safra should take it. That's the fourth wicket. Kusal Mendes. Look at the generator man. <laughs> As he's called. That's a big wicket. That is a huge wicket. Kusal Mendes. Done by that extra bit of pace and bounce. Onto him quickly. And uh, that's the fourth wicket down. Look at the line of this. It's right on him. About his uh, right air roll. Comfortable catch and the celebration. Talk about doing an all-black harker. Should be playing rugby. Good on you, Hassan Ali. Gets the fourth one. It's Mendes. And he's got to go for two. Oh, starts off with a brilliant delivery. My goodness me. He's on a hat-trick. What a fast delivery. Yorked him. Beautiful pace. Wonderful piece of bowling. Right arm round. Sparing it in there and opening up. Sarah Wadner. No price. We're on a hat-trick here, folks, in Dubai. Courtesy of Hassan Ali. There it is. Celebration to the max. Sarawadna has got to go for a golden one. It is 67 for five here. Well, no Pakistan bowler has got a hat trick in one day cricket in the last 15 years. The last to do that in both tests and one day was uh, Mohamed Sami. Let's see what he could do here. Hassan Ali, he's been on fire. He's worked up, worked up a good steam. Up, driven through the covers. What a way to respond to the hat trick ball. This is a Pereira. Here he goes, straight as an arrow. Flat, six. 100 comes up for Sri Lanka with that belligerent straight drive. You asked for it, Remy. That was beautifully hit. Got to the pitch quite nicely. I think Mohammed Afi is normally very good with the line and length. He just got tricked. Used his feet uh, very, very nicely. When he hits, it literally stays hit. That's gone up in the air. An opportunity created someone. And beautifully held. Fahim Ashraf, the sub. Taking a skyer and a very good catch indeed. And it's the important wicket, that of Tisara Pereira. Shadab Khan has provided Pakistan with a major breakthrough because Pereira was looking to cut loose. Well, it's never easy when it goes really high. And that was hit really hard and high. It was nowhere near that uh, the length of the ball. And uh, Fahim Ashraf was the man. He had enough time to come under it, balance himself, and caught it beautifully. First wicket for the youngster, and the sixth wicket for Pakistan. The shot are gone for 21. That's into the gap. It's a slice, and it'll win the race. Calls him through, throw to the bowlers and not good enough. So half century for Lairu Tirimana. His third in four innings since making a comeback to the Sri Lankan ODI team. Decent crowd in. Had a good day out. The man who started it all. Straight away hits him on the pad. Umpire Ravi, his finger goes up. No reviews available. So Tirimana will have to walk. But I don't think review would have saved him here. Roman Reyes, first ball back. It's just been terrific today. That's bolt upright seam and it's hitting the seam and decking around even in Dubai. Comes back for herself. Spell first ball spot on comes back in man batting with the 50 to his name got no answer 
Roman Reis gets his third. He started it all with that beautiful new ball spell. Comes back, gets rid of Tiramane. Out for 53, 132 for seven. Effective edge. Running away, it's teasing Junaid Khan. So four after quite a while. Oh, that's well played. Very well done. Akila Dananja goes to 26. Go with the flow that's been set up by this pair. That's a good slot. Hitting it with the spin. Uh, that's put away into the gap. Oh, hello. Like a little glove, yes! Another celebration for Hassan Ali. And he picks up his third, like Rahman. Oh, he's been the standout bowler along with the Rahman race, but Hassan Ali has got this great ability to amp it up with a bit of pace and fire. Have a look at this one. Balling the batsman uh, in an awkward position, really. Couldn't do anything about it. It's wonderfully bowled. Very good line from Hassan Ali. Gloved it to the keeper, and uh, so that's the end of that eight-wicket partnership. Jeffrey Vendersay says goodbye to us. 25 from 47, 200 for eight. Smash this to the fence. So uh, Dun and Jay still at the other end on 49 and 0. Is that shorter one? Oh, look out! <laughs> and gets there in the end. Well played, fella. Yeah, looks to the heavens and salutes the fans and the half century up. But Don and Jay, good stuff, young man. Yeah, got a standing ovation from all the Sri Lankan fans, including his mates in the dressing room. Obviously, it means a lot to them. He's fought extremely hard for his 50. Good guts. Final act. A little slice away in the misfield. And Lakmal. And Pakistan with their fifth consecutive win in ODI cricket. And the other glaring stat, well, for Sri Lanka, it's their eighth consecutive loss. Eight losses on the trot for Sri Lanka. But uh, big smiles and handshakes and high fives all round. Yeah, Sri Lankans uh, just were not good enough uh, on the day, especially the top order race. And Hassan Ali took care of uh, the big guns, and in the end, they fell short of the target. 209 for the loss of eight. Dhananjay getting a 50 from 72, put up a good rear guard action. Pakistan bowling was impressive. Three for Reis, three for Hassan Ali, one for Hafiz, who bowled a very good spell, and one for the leg spinner Shadab. They look a very, very good and threatening bowling unit. Shweb Malik was a judge, the Man of the Match Award winner for his uh, innings of 81. Batted beautifully and got things under control for Pakistan with the bat. So uh, let's have an upshot of what happened the, in the match summary. Then Pakistan 292 for the loss of six and Sri Lankans not good enough on the day and Pakistan winning this quite handsomely, quite easily by 83 runs. Hope you enjoyed this edition of the highlights. Till we meet again, it's goodbye, good night from all of us.